Hi guys, um, Mark G with a C, back for another video. Um, today's edition is going to be a uh, CD update. Been picking up a few um, CDs and a little bit of vinyl recently, but I'm just going to show CDs in, in this edition. Um, Music Mad Pie, eBay, you know, you know me. Maybe Amazon every now and again. Uh, got 11 CDs to show you here, and these are pretty much all Death Thrash. I think there's one heavy metal one in there. So the heavier, the heavier side of my uh, my listening tastes. I have got some other ones, um, but I'm going to save those for another video. Um, yeah, I've been having a bit of a blinder recently. Music Magpie picking them up for like just just under three quid. Uh, most of these CDs that I'm going to show now, and, and the other and the other ones in my next update video, um, yeah, between two and three quid. So uh, I'm all over that all day long. So I'll stop waffling on. Um, and we'll make a start. So the first band, this is a, an English band, 2016 release uh, on Galactic Records, and this is Mithras. Um, the album is on Strange Loops. Now I'd, I'd heard about these, not this album, but I'd seen some of their other albums, um, and they always intrigued me a little bit, but I wasn't quite sure. That glare on there, you can see me eye, you can see everything going on in the background except for what you need to. That's the thing with the lights in there. I'm not a professional setup, you know, I just record these videos on my phone. Anyway, uh, Mythras, yes, these are technical, progressive death metal, um, guttural vocals, excellent, excellent guitar work. Um, I will certainly, this is my first pick up by these, I'll certainly be looking to um, pick up some of their other releases. Um, like I say, I'd seen it fairly cheap, thought I'll have a, I'll have a bit of a butchers at that, see what it's like, and I'm absolutely made up, I did. It's uh, a band I'll certainly be looking a bit more deeper into. So that's Mithras. Um, second up, now this is something I saw my, uh, my friend Metal Mickey talking about. He did a video not long ago on um, Celtic Frost. Um, and he showed a couple of these um, CDs in that video and I thought, you know what, love Celtic Frost but it's a band I've never really checked out. So I thought it was about time. This was on Music Magpie and when it arrived it was the, um, the special book edition and this is uh, Triptychon. Um, Tom G Warrior, Thomas Gabriel Warrior, whatever you want to call him. Um, and this is his band, I love that artwork, H.R. Geiger, apparently this um, this was H.R. Geiger's last um, piece of work before he died unfortunately, I know he's done a few others on the Celtic Frost, but yeah, 2014 release on Century Media, um, I'd, another band that passed me by really somehow, um, picked this up and it's fabulous you know um the mad thing about it is is i love celtic frost but i'm not even sure if this the more i listen to it it's gonna sort of surpass them really it, it's um it's fabulous it's it's atmospheric it's dark it's powerful um tom g warrior's voice it, it sounds as but it sounds for me better than anything he did when he was in Celtic Frost, to be honest. Um, and this album is Milana Chasmata. Um, if you're a fan of Celtic Frost, anyone watching this, and you don't know Triptychon, I would highly recommend it. Um, I'm well impressed. Uh, I know they've got an, another, maybe another one or no, two, I'm not quite sure, albums. I'll certainly look to pick them up. But yeah, very pleased to get this. And like I say, it, was, it didn't say anything about it being the book edition. Um, there's nowhere for that booklet to live in here, which is is a bit annoying. But anyway, I do like these book editions; they're nice and they're bulky. But yeah, what a piece of artwork that is as well, isn't it? H.R. Geiger. If you're not uh, familiar with this artist, he's a guy who um, designed Alien and some of their sets early on in, the, in that franchise. Okay, next up, this is a Portuguese black or blackened death metal band 2008 release on um, Agonia records Ag Agonia 
I got near you, I got near you, I got near you. Um, and this is in that Umbra. So, yeah, band A for a band. The Portuguese in the Umbra. Not in the Umbra, in the Umbra. And the album is Thus Open Thine Airy Wings Like an Eagle and Saw the Winds of Chaos. Um, very, very different. Again, cheap as chips, I saw it. I was going to pick it up. I was quite made up when I opened it because if you can see there, um, it's signed by three of the band. Uh, and it's not just like a print on there, it's, you can see it's um, it's proper marker pen on there. don't know if that's showing up. But um, yeah, black and death metal, progressive elements, um, guttural vocal screams every now and again, what you would expect from that black and um, style. Um, I'll certainly look to pick up something else by them if I can see it cheap enough. Um, Music Magpie seems to be having some um, some real good deals on uh, on metal albums at the moment. Um, if you just if you're patient, and have a good scan through, which I sh probably shouldn't be telling the people who'll go on there because you might pinch them all off me. But uh, yeah, have a good scan through, and um, you can pick up it's like anything in the Amazon. If you if you're prepared to put the hours in and have a good look, then uh, you'll pick up something decent. So that's in that Umbra Portuguese. Progressive Blackened Death Metal. Next up, um, again mentioning Metal Mickey, he'll be pleased uh, pleased with this one, but this is a duplicate copy. I've already got this. Um, this is Austrian Death Metal Maestro's Pungent Stench. Club Mondo Bazaar for members only. Um, yeah, if you don't know Pungent Stench, uh, and like I said, I've already got these, the original pressing of this. Original pressings are my thing, but um, I saw this. It's a recent reissue um, on No Sava No Dissonance Records, uh, 2018. This year, it was on Music Magpie for three quid, brand new. Um, and the reason I wanted it, it's got all sorts of extra tracks on there. I don't know if you can see around here. But yeah, Austrian um, death metal. I know a lot of people talk about Entombed and the death and roll style. Um, but I, I always felt a little bit of pungent stench. They, had, they always had that rock and roll um, element to them. You know, they were always heavy and, and guttural vocals and heavy riffs, but they always had a, a kind of rock and roll vibe to them. Um, I don't know if, you, if you're not familiar with Pungent Stench, uh, the lyrics are just sick. They're just disgusting. Um, I like it because I'm a fan of, of death metal and I suppose that, that offensiveness sometimes of, of what it represents. Um, you know, but I can understand some of the lyrical content of these bands. It can put people off from maybe... Um, the music which is a shame really because musically they're always brilliant but yeah um, brilliant album this uh, a song well one of the songs is called choked just for a joke so um, tells you all you need to know but yeah made up to pick up that um, all the extra tracks I'm having that simple as okay next up French um, technical death metal seems to be um, the rage at the moment on it technical death metal but um yeah the, the the cover of this intrigued me um 2017 release on great dane records and this is exocrine from uh, like I say from france everything that you'd expect from a technical death metal band um you know they're not they're not sacrificing some of these technical death metal bands the the they go down the sort of road of mathematics more than the music, I think, sometimes. Um, but I've, I've had a little listen to this. I've not listened to it all the way through, and it sounds it sounds very promising. Um, but that that's a brutal technical death metal album cover, if ever I saw one. And as you well know me, if you watch my videos, you know I'm a sucker for um, a good album cover. So X Creed and the album is Ascension. Next up, um, Italian um, thrash crossover band. 2015 release, is it? 
Um, not so sure what the label is because it's got quite a few labels at the bottom of there. Code seven's always a good sign. But this is um, Murder Spree. And Time to Rise Up. Um, again, saw this on Music Magpie. You can tell the new, aren't they? Uh, to me, these because they're not even. I always have my CDs in these little plastic slip cases to keep them uh, keep them clean. And these are that new. I've not even had a chance to put these in in yet. Um, yeah, thrash crossover. What you'd expect the the sort of gruff but shouted kind of hardcore style vocals. Um, but yeah, very good. There's some um, there's some good bands, some good thrash bands. Um, coming out of Italy the last few years, well, the last decade or so. So, um, yeah, happy to pick that up. That's Murder Spree. Time to rise up. Next up, um, band from LA, um, brutal death metal, guttural um, vocals. And this is Blood Scribe, prologue to the apocalypse. Uh, Digipack case, not my favourite, but now I'm not a big fan of slam, slam metal, what you want to call it. You know the type of that type of death metal where the vocals have got that like a pig squeal. <laughs> you know, I I love it when it's guttural. It, I don't have to be able to know what they're singing about, but I I, I like to hear the sort of pronunciation of the words. <clears throat> this vocalist is kind of verging on, on the boundaries of slam. Um, luckily for me, not quite, and it doesn't take away from um, the ferocity uh, of the death metal. Uh, but another one, I've not heard of this band, spotted the cover, it looked right up my street, so uh, I was having a bit of that. And like I say, um, I'm not as thrifty as um, Steve at Value Vinyl is, but I do I do, do my best to, um, you know, get the bargains. I've said it before in other videos, I, I very rarely buy albums brand new when they come out. Um, I tend to wait a little while um, and then pick them up when they're a bit cheaper. Okay, next up, this is a band um, I was very aware of. Um, Back in the day, you didn't really pay much attention, but you know, a lot of people on the VC um, speaking about them um, and, and picking albums up by them. Darcy, Six Rings, Nine Lives, Bev at Clark, Old Vision, to name a couple. Um, so I thought, do you know what? Like, a, it's the beauty of the VC, isn't it? You know, uh, people recommending things to you, and I thought, I'll have to, I'll have to pick up something by them. Um, and I think I'd mentioned it in one of my other videos about uh, bands that I wanted to pick up and add to my collection. Uh, Blind Guardian was one of them, and this band is the other. Running Wild, German, classic, traditional, heavy metal. And this album's The Rivalry. Uh, 1998 release on Gun Records. Um, yeah, I'd, there's bands like this, and, and there was all sorts of bands. You know, Blind Guardian, like I said, Running Wild. Um, I can't think of any off the top of my head, but just ones that passed me by back in the day when, when I was on my, my journey. I suppose, and I've said it before, I was on I was on a heavier journey, on a heavier journey at that time. So um, these bands got left behind, but um, yeah, very good. Just just well played, good German power, traditional heavy metal. Simple as that. So that's my first uh, pick up of Running Wild, so I'm looking forward to getting some more of their stuff. Okay, three more to go. Um, this is, this band needs no introduction. The Pioneers, one of the pioneers of the grindcore movement. British bands, um, and they had a, a few albums in the middle of their career, or, well, not the middle, I suppose now, but um, they went from grindcore into death metal, and then they had a little period, and, uh, and they changed the logo, um, and I just kind of didn't really pay much attention. But as always with my collection, I like to I like to sort of complete not complete discographies, but 
go back, I like to revisit and, and, and have a listen to bands that I didn't really pay much attention to maybe 20 years ago and think, do you know what, I might, my, my taste might have changed a little bit and usually they have to be honest. Um, so I was made up to pick up this and this is um, Napalm Death and Words from the Exit Wounds. Wound. Um, 1998 release on Ear 8 Records. Um, yeah, don't need any introduction, Napalm Death. This was a, a little bit of a different period of their career. They'd gone from sort of grind called to death metal and then this was still heavy, but I don't really know how you'd explain it really, if it had a bit of an industrial um, tinge to it, but they were trying, some, excuse me, trying something different. Um, which probably lost them quite a few fans, and, and I suppose me included back in the day, you know, but um, I, I'm going to look to pick up the other ones from the Dire Tribes, I think it is, and I've got Fear, Emptiness, Despair, um, can't remember the name of the other one, but I, I will look to pick them up, because um, I've really enjoyed this, really enjoyed it, um, you know, it, it's slow for what Napalm Death are, but it's still heavy as out, you know, so yeah, Napalm Death. Okay, <clears throat> La uh, second to last, and this one, um, my friend Thrashing Chris um, had shown it in one of his videos, and I thought, I've heard of that band, you know, I'm gonna have, have to look into that, like I do. All sorts of people are all sorts of people are always putting recommendations my way. So um, I saw this cheap as chips on Magic magic on music magpie and I thought I am having some of that beyond creation algorithm um, from Montreal Canada I think it is um, technical death metal but do you know what I think that does it a bit of a disservice I think sometimes when you you think of technical death metal um, like I said before you know you think of the, the math side of it and it's just the mentalness this is not like that, there's plenty of room, there's plenty of, the music's got room to breathe, you know, but technically, I mean, technically, they are amazing. Uh, bass player is, uh, he's somewhere else. Um, guttural vocals, um, thoroughly, thoroughly enjoying this, Chris. Um, so yeah, thanks for the heads up on them. That is uh, Beyond Creation, uh, 2018. So the fact that I got that Music Magpie for about three quid, and it was released on the last year, wow. And finally, um, from Cleveland, Ohio, on the Hell, Hell's Headbangers label, 2016 release, this is Embalmer. Um, and the album is Emanations from the Crypt. The name of the band and the album cover tell you exactly how heavy that is. It is mentally heavy. It's death metal, old school, new school. It is just proper, <laughs> proper death metal. Fast, guttural, brutal, chugging, heavy as you like. Like I say, the album cover says it all, doesn't it? So that's Embalmer. And um, yeah, what year is that? 2016 release. Okay, guys, uh, I've waffled on for long enough, nearly 20 minutes already. Don't know where the time goes. We've been listening to talk, um, the remnants of violence, Phil Demmel, Dean Dell. Uh, I think Sean Killian had something to do with uh, some of the lyrics on this, but uh, I was bought this um, as a Christmas present. So um, yeah, talk, Bay Area thrash, this is the original pressing on Mascot Records, uh, 1996 release. Phil Demmel, Dean Dell. So yeah, uh, enjoying that very much. So thanks guys. Thanks as always for watching. Please um, leave a comment, give me a thumbs up or, or whatever, you know, it's what it's all about. I love reading the comments and replying to people and having a little bit of um, communication. So uh, yeah. All the best guys, thanks so much for watching and take care, bye bye.